Then it's finished. Once the me messenger delivers our terms, that's it. We put an end to this bloody business once and for all. We've won. Somehow I don't feel like celebrating. Victory can be bitter as well as sweet, boy. It's good you learned that now. Regna Ferox lost many good soldiers today. We need to see our dead. Then it's time to attend to the living and rebuild our army. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Flavia. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Elise will co compensate your nation in whatever fashion. Please. Oh, in that case, how about you hand over the Fire Emblem and we'll call it even? Ah, just a little Ferox's humor. Don't worry after our finances, Crown. Reparations will fall to Plegia, and I've seen the treasury. They can well afford it. Oh, yes, pity the man who stands between Flavia and a full coffer, boy. <laughs> hey, I'll have to remember that when you come to visit Elistal. I think that's referring to Krom. Maybe me. Now we're talking. Hey. But. Hey. Huh? <laughs> oh my. So that happens, um, like 95% sure that doesn't quite happen if you already have S level reached between Sumia and Krom, because then you, know, you just miss out on that conversation because they're already married. So uh, you know this this is part of the storyline that Krom gets married, and there's a wedding, and he has a baby daughter. And I don't know if one will cutscene will do from here, but... Sire. Sorry, a messenger from Regna Ferox. It was two years later, apparently. See them in at once. Yes, sir. Yes, my lord. Prince Krom, I have come on behalf of Khan Regnant Flavia. <sighs> Flavia? Well, this is a surprise. Is something amiss? Right away. I fear so, my lord. The Khan requests your presence at a summit as soon as you're able. Really? What's happened? Yes, my lord. Our western neighbors of Valm are no longer acting so neighborly. The Emperor, who they named the Conqueror, has launched warships against us. What? An invasion? Are you certain of this? Forgive me. Yes, my lord. The Khan hopes to meet with you in Ferox, if it please you. My lord. What do you make of this, sire? Right. All business to be sure. Raimi, we will meet with Flavia at once. <sighs> Krom. Forgive me. I'd stay with you if I could, Sumia, but we owe Regna Ferox a great debt. I must appraise myself for the facts there before deciding on a course of action. Yes. I'm not asking you to stay here with me. I'm, at, I'm saying I'm coming with you. There we go, there's the child. 
But, but Lucina is newly born. She needs her mother now. Can she not be wet nursed as you and Lissa were? That is how Silisa's tradition, is it not? Lucina is a strong child. She takes after her father. The brand in her left eye is not your only gift to her. Still. Um, that brand is like, I don't know, it's like the Elysian crest or whatever, just shows up somewhere. It's on Krom's arm. I don't know if that was supposed to be a tattoo or if, if that is the brand, but his symbol's there. You can see it in a, like a ton of his artwork and certain points in the game. And it'll be important later. Some of you who are good at guessing or just don't care about spoilers already know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm not going to say anything yet. I apologize I could not come sooner, Flavia. Hey. What matters is you are here, Krom. Right? Is it true Valmy's warships have set sail? What can you tell us? <sighs> not much more than that, I'm afraid. The details remain hazy. Just a moment. Oh, where are you, big ball? Krom is here. All right. Ah, well met, boy. I knew you'd come. We have someone you should hear from. I believe you've met. He claims to have insight into Valm's intentions. There we go, it's our good old buddy Virion. Good day, lords and ladies, how fair you all. Allow me the great pleasure and indeed honor of introducing myself. I'm not doing a French accent. We all know who you are, Virion. Although I don't believe we've met your companion. Hmm, you know nothing. Prepare for my great unmasking. Long have I posed as archest of archers, yet that was but a ruse. Yea, an artifice, to disguise myself as a mere above-average man. In truth I am... Ahem, may I present Duke Virion. I am his humble servant, Church. Greetings, Greetings sire. sire. You oh, honor us with your presence. Wait. Church, you stole my moment. Listen. A pleasure, Church. Perhaps you could speak on your master's behalf? Well. That may speed things along, yes. Then please, time is of the essence. Very well then. First, concerning our origins. We hail from Orzan, a fertile territory of the continent of Valm. My lord is the head of House Virion and the rightful ruler of Rosan. A fact he often reminds us of, and loudly. Ha, is she not a true wit? She gets it all from me, you know. So it brings a noble in his charge all the way across the Long Sea. The Valmese. This was an unremarkable nation once. Tiny, almost pitifully so. Had our continent not shared its name, you might almost have forgotten it existed. And so Val might have remained, if not for Walhart the Conqueror. One by one, he has taken the surrounding realms into his growing empire. I had no choice but to run... Or, that is, recruit new allies to aid my people. That's why I've come. You fled for your life. More or less, yes. While my lord hastily gathered his valuables and guided his people out to safety... I alone remained to keep an eye on the Valmese crisis. I was there as Rosan was swallowed up by Emperor Walhart's overwhelming forces. In the end, I too fled here to Regna Ferrax, seeking as asylum. <laughs> to my great relief, I might add, eligible women are one of Rosan's most precious natural resources. It would be a shame to waste any, even one who cuts off her lord and ma- How's that? Ahem, as I was saying. My, my. Yes, yes, all right, it was only a jape. Please, by all means, you may con- so, begging your pardons, but perhaps it is time to cut this long story short. Walhart has conquered our continent and now seeks to conquer yours. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for the TLDR at this point. She claims the Valmese fleet will be at our shores in a matter of days. We'll know soon enough if her story proves true. I speak only what I know for true, good people. As does my lord, at least with respect to this matter. There's that wit of yours again. Aha, that wonderful, needling, chafing wit. I believe you both. Basilio, we must secure your ports as soon as possible. You should know that Valm is the strongest cavalry in the world. You will want to station troops with experience fighting mounted troops. Which is pro tip, trust me. That's why getting Beastbane on uh, Pan is going to be really useful soon. 
And I don't know if we have a beast killer lying around, or whatever it's called, but one of those weapons, if we could give that to Sully, that would be awesome. Anyway, this episode's getting like super long. Oh, cool, we do have one. It's gonna be nice. I don't need this anymore. Um, yeah, I'll prepare more later on. But anyway, this episode's getting like super long. It's actually like a 50 minute recording chunk. So presumably, probably if you've made it this far, I think I've decided to split it up into three pieces and this last one's been purely cutscenes. Anyway, if you like them, please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, check out my other ones, send this to your friends. And I will see you guys next time when we can take on chapter 12.